Hello and welcome to Man Enough. Hi, Jamie Heath. Hey, Justin Baldoni. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing yeah. really good. You excited about uh, wh- why we're here today? I'm excited. I am excited. You know, I've been thinking a lot. We've done something really cool at our company at Wayfair Studios that I think we should tell our audience about because it's something that is, was a bit of an experiment that turned into a documentary series. Yes. The show is called Questions, and it will soon be available to stream on the CW app and CWTV.com. Let me ask you a question, Jamie. We're living in a time where it seems that relationships are more fragile than ever. There are so many options for people with dating apps. Anxiety is higher than it's ever been. People are lonelier than they've ever been. And we're seeing a lot of relationships and marriages fall apart. And many could be saved. What have you learned from being married three times? My first two marriages were married to two incredible, powerful, amazing women. Um, I've been blessed three times to prove myself to the world, to God, to myself, that I'm worthy of love and giving love. I was not able to keep my two marriages together because I did not allow us to ask each other questions that came with a spirit of uh, vulnerability, not being defensive, allowing my wife at the time to ask me something that might be offensive or at least appear to be offensive without running away, that I did not stay in the room to have these conversations that allow you to get through things. Mm-hmm. I did not do that. I didn't have the skill set. I didn't know how to do it. And nor did I even think that that was something that was happening that much. In my marriage now, we do this all the time. Yeah. We ask each other hard questions and we face the truth. That's why I'm so excited that we're talking about this today. For Emily and I, it's the same thing. I, th- I attribute so much of what makes our relationship and our marriage work is that we create a space where we can talk and ask each other the hard, hard questions because we know mm-hmm. that we'll figure out a way to make it work. And so with that, Wayfair Studios has a brand new show that's premiering on the CW app called Questions. And it's created by a dear friend of ours in the podcast, Farhood Maybody, And it's directed by uh, our brother who is joining us today, Ahmed Musial. He's a brilliant director and creative. He's more than just one of uh, our closest friends. He is a... Uh, He is a spiritual giant, and this is a man who for nearly a decade helped me tell the stories of individuals who were living with a terminal illness. We had a show called My Last Days. It's how we started the first iteration of our company, Wayfair. He's been my brother. He's been a partner. He's been a co-director. He's been a producer, creator, and I love him to death. And we're going to have him on this podcast. Yes, we are. In a full episode soon. Today, he's joining us just to talk about this beautiful show that he and Farhood made called Questions. Hey, guys. Ahmed, briefly for this audience, because if there's an audience that's going to love this show, it's going to be the man enough audience. What is questions? What is it? Why'd you do it? And what can people look forward to when they watch it? Yeah. Questions is an exceptionally uh, refreshing delve into what it takes to make a relationship work because it offers a platform for couples who are at a crossroads, who have no idea how to move forward. They've just been stuck to bring up all of the little crunchy things that they haven't been talking about with each other and to actually confront those issues in a safe way that allows them to figure out a path forward and, and understand what it takes to really make love work, which as you both know, I've been through quite a bit. And so it was an incredible opportunity to sit and learn from couples and help share what, what I've learned along the way to hopefully help them and whoever tunes in and watches to find opportunities to have new discussions with their partners about what true love really looks like, capital T, capital L. Mm. Achman, while you just mentioned the couples themselves, why I think it has been so special that you were the one that directed these and you alluded to it, your own relationship has been through its valleys. Mm. And these couples have exposed themselves and been extremely vulnerable. And you yourself have acknowledged that you've been married now three times to the same woman. And I think maybe that you've been successful in your marriage to keep it together, Mm -hmm. even though you've split apart, is because you've actually asked hard questions and you've gone through the mud and um, built some new flowers. So I think Mm -hmm. that you have expertise and to help handle and massage and make people feel safe to talk about their own. That's very sweet. I will um, reflect that right back to say that Two of the great lessons that we walked with uh, through this entire series were two lessons that I took from each of you. Jamie, in particular, you told me a long time ago, uh, the best will ever be is a work in progress. And that 
is something that we really try to stay true to helping other people learn as well. That it's not about achieving an end, it's about the process that you use to grow and to learn and to be better. And Justin, I've said this to you before, and funny enough, every time I say it, you go, I said that? And you don't remember it, which is the mark, by the way, <laughs> in my belief, that is the mark of a good deed accepted, which is that you said so when you are dating somebody, uh, you're looking for the right person for you. And when you marry someone, you are looking uh, as to how to be the best person for them. Mm. So we took those two values, those two principles, and we walked with those close at heart and tried to create an environment where we're dealing with a lot of very heavy subjects, but with a lot of levity and heart. Everything from people dealing with mental health issues to people dealing with just the uncertainty of communication and not having the tools or the language. And I always kind of talk about it in the same way. It's like you're born with these blueprints to build a life. You have whatever tools in the tool belt that you've been given, and you can get to a certain point where you need to put in a screw and you've got a butter knife in your tool belt and you can spend the rest of your time trying to twist the screw with the butter knife and cutting yourself and spending way too much time or you can stop take a breath go to the home depot or whatever hardware store wants to sponsor man enough and get yourself a drill <laughs> and come back and go to work um and so that's what we're hoping everybody was uh is able to do through through this series is to have mm -hmm. an opportunity to learn how to put some of those tools in their tool belt justin you have spent a lot of time caring about men why do you think this particular show speaks to men what is it about this that men hit the hearts of our man enough audience what i love about questions is that it's an intimate look into asking the questions that most of us are afraid to ask the show's whole premise is if you could ask your partner anything and there were no consequences, what would you ask? And the reality is like, there are so many things that we want to ask that we're afraid to ask on a daily basis. And we think that it's going to destroy the relationship or destroy the marriage. But in reality, when you ask those questions, it ends up saving it and becoming the glue. Everybody should have the fearlessness of being able to talk to your partner about anything, especially if it's somebody that you are choosing to spend the rest of your life with or potentially mm -hmm. raise children with. It's about discovering truth. And I think if you watch it with a with your partner, if you have a partner or a spouse, it's going to hopefully make you then think about the questions mm. that you want to ask your partner or spouse that you haven't had the courage to ask yet. Agreed. Imagine how many more relationships would survive if they asked each other questions, had therapy. There are so many male friends I know that have not had these real conversations and marriages suffer and people part ways because they didn't really do the work. Yeah. So the, so the question I have for, for, our, for our men in the audience is very simple. Are you man enough to ask your partner a question that could potentially lead to the mm -hmm. end of your relationship? And are you man enough to watch questions? So if you're listening to this and you are interested in watching the show, please download the CW app. The show is called Questions, again, created by our dear friend Farhud Maybadi and directed and produced by the wonderful Ahmed Musil. We love you, brother. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Love you, brother. All right. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining us.